Ah, shoot, I just realized there's a big giant plot hole in this thing. They're freaking animatronics, and they die. They're already dead. They have dead children's souls inside. What the heck? Okay, so the thing is that they, the big giant plot hole in my story is that they're all animatronics. They're all dead children. And once one of them got killed, they could they die. Wait a minute. Didn't. But wait. But they were. Toy Cassie did say that to her that that place was purgatory, but not. But you were able to do other things and make friends. But what the? But they said that. How could she die? In the store train store, she got stabbed. In the heart, they don't have hearts. They don't have hearts. They might have blood, but they don't have hearts. They, the blood is helping the mechanics work, I guess. I don't know, magic, I guess. I don't know. But still, the big giant plot hole. How? They could be repaired. I forgot they could be repaired. If they just get in dent by then, they, they, could, they could still get repaired. I remember having so many things where Rosemary gets stabbed so many times near vital places and even in vital places. But she's still freaking alive! What the heck? And Toy Cassidy. She hits people she hit her friends one of her friends with a chainsaw. They're still freaking alive. What the frick? Yeah, it was Yeah, it was the arm and then her cousin did rip off her face to be just like rather Bonnie, but still what the heck? Uh, the big giant plot hole! And they're in rain! Wait a minute. I, in slight comic I have right now, it, it, it says that I had the idea where Toy Bonnie said that. Well, at least, well, at least we're slight. Well, at least we're waterproof, I guess. Okay, uh, don't get. Well, yeah, they do eat stuff. Yeah, they still do the same thing. They do waste things. Uh, I don't know. They're like normal humans, but they're animatronics. They're humans, but they don't have. They could break bones, but you have to. If you break your bone, you have to go into surgery. I guess. I don't know. The freaking nurse cat it won't do that thing because to her, everything looks like the real people, but just. Like they're at art school, <laughs> you know that thing where they just—if you're on the body of a tumbler, you have rainbow-colored hair. I don't know, but still, this big giant plot hole. The plot hole is that they're animatronics, but they die. They have freaking plot hole. Let me just tell you, the freak. This is the plot hole right here. The plot hole is that they are dead children or adults, adults. Addicts, uh, of drug. Um, they're dead people. I'm just gonna say people. They're dead souls. Well, souls inside of animatronics. They're already dead. They came to life in the animatronics, and then they could be killed. But they could be replaced. But they could be repaired. Why is this? What the big freaking plot hole? Big freaking plot hole. Big freaking plot hole. I don't understand any. <laughs> It's my story. This freaking story is just about Toby Bonnie me and Yonder. He's not supposed to have this meaning to things. <laughs> this is just me trying to make things, other things make sense. Like, these aren't furries. These are half furries where they, they're not fully animals. It's just that they have ears and tails like the animals and the hair. The only thing they have of the animals are the ears and tails. They have a human body. Just shrieking plot holes still. They're animatronics. They could be killed, but they could be repaired. <laughs> I'm just rambling now. They're apparently waterproof too in this too. In this picture I'm staring at in the rain. They're waterproof as well. What the fuck? <laughs> the freaking plot hole! Allow me to explain the plot hole in the story now that I have listened to myself whine. And I've already made another version of this, what I'm about to tell you. But 
it was all it was very terrible it was terrible audio even though I explained it I liked how I explained it but it was terrible audio and you could hear me position the computer making sure and plugging in my computer so I'm here to remake it or just re-record it I guess I don't know so so the plot hole is that or well me explaining it is that in this world or a universe I'm making where the animatronics they're humanoids but they're not they're animatronics but in their body they are they're like humans but they still have the mechanics as an as an animatronic sort of like the androids from Dragon Ball Z, Android 18 and Android 17, they they're able to re, re, they're able to reproduce and they're still humans, but they're they're mechan but they're mechanicals too. So and that also means they can't really die, since they can't really die unless they, unless their souls inside pass on then they could really truly die but the animatronic the body itself can't die and in a picture I made is where there where three people three friends are mourning the death of one of their friends and they're in the rain allow, allow me to explain that they're in the rain since they're just like the androids they're able to withstand water they still, they still have to eat. They, well, they still do the same thing what us humans do. But sometimes some of them won't have emotions, but they'll get emotions and personality along the way. And the reason why these animatronics are in a high school or a school of anything, the reason why is that Uni, or may I say, Scarlet, is. Um, had this idea where what if a child is at Chuck E. Cheese imagine yourself at Chuck E. Cheese and you're trying to get your homework done or study but you're being distracted by all the fun things or the creepy animatronics or the nice animatronics I don't know but that you're distracted no one will help you no they just simply don't want to they're having too much fun calling it a buzzkill and saying oh we should do that later unlike me I, when I get homework, I have to work it on it right away. You can see I take medicine to help me pay attention to work. And if I don't take my medicine, I thought that if I don't need my medicine, but I have seen that one day, I took I didn't take my medicine because I was sick that day and I was doing work that I needed to do that everyone else was doing that day. I tried to do it, I couldn't do it. Good thing when I didn't really have to. But that, that's besides the point. Thing is that, in the story, yeah, Scarlet or Uni, either one of them, they're the same th freaking person. Just one's good, one's bad, but still. In the story, Scarlet, she gets the idea that if she could have some of the animatronics know the things to help the stu to help anyone out, then that would actually bring more people. If if someone that would well that would bring in more customers. They make new animatronics, and if they're already assigned to one, then they'll if something really bad happens to them, then they'll be repaired. If they're not already assigned, they'll be hold, held off to be repaired. Then when they're signed. Then they'll be repaired, but still, they'll learn it. But these animatronics have living, living souls in them, so they'll have to learn like any normal person. If you're, if you like me and you have watched the movie Chappie, you know that robot where it has a program where it can learn just like any other human. Where it starts off at the basics, like if they're a little child, and then they'll learn just like that. Because to that, to Chappie, they it, it has a soul. But all the other robots, they don't have souls, and they just know things. The animatronics are so like that. So they'll learn by going to school, 
which is how us kids have to. And if they are just regular old animatronics and they don't have a soul in them, they could just be plant be fed the information already. Just give them the information and then there you go. But people like the, the idea of where they have personalities. And so that will make people or kids like them more. And so there you go. If they're animatronics like, you know, like Ballora, you'll be dancing. If you're if you're the singer of the group, then like Freddie, then you'll be, you know, sing. You'll there's different classes of how to learn each thing you you're assigned to do. Like if you're assigned storytelling, like Rosemary, you'll be assigned how to talk in front of people and how to talk clearly. And make sure that you can't that you could be able to say things without stuttering or say a story tell a story like like without a see like a word without a book if you don't have a book you could just tell and you have learned or you have a, you know learned it by heart you could tell the story or you could just get get make a new story out just out of your mind like how I have like if I was animatronic I would have taken that class because I'm doing this and I'm telling you and I'm explaining this to you without a script okay during this yes they okay they don't have hearts but they do have the brain but no actually not really the brain they have a mechanical brain they have a mechanical heart which is the battery where that battery never runs out it's all solely by the soul which is that's where the soul is but if you stab that part then the soul won't just go out the soul will stay in there unless it just wants to be destroyed so you could go go off and pass on well, just like Toy Cassidy have said that place or being an animatronic to her is just like being in purgatory even though she'd never been there before to her she just wanted to pass on and in purgatory in my story whatever you do you'll still go to heaven or if you do good things while you're in purgatory you still and you did a very bad a lot of bad things but and you did it out of your own will then you'll be sent to hell I guess I don't know in the story yes Toy Bonnie is being is a yandere for Rosemary still 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 it's old fangirl or old old orchid or cast or casting before casting was even made used to be they used to be thing they toy bonnie used to be saying notice me senpai to rosemary okay back to the real thing that everyone's watching for the thing is in the story they are they can't die they're not really living they're just souls and having a a body they could let the souls could pass on but the body will still be there if the souls are already gone and they and they already passed on and animatronics are assigned and they are repaired then they'll just feed the feed the animatronic or the fake brain everything that it needs it won't have its own personality but it will pretend like it has its own personality it won't have its soul I just realized it's sort of like you know if anyone has watched My Little Pony Friendship is Witchcraft, where Twi where Twist is set explaining what's the difference between a robot and a cyborg, where robots don't have souls, so the animatronics without a soul is like the robots, and the cyborgs are just the animatronics that has the souls. They'll they'll learn, they'll live how long that. They will be able to. If an am if an animatronic or if the soul is purpose if the soul's sole purpose is to just kill the person that killed them or get back to their family, and if their family is already dead and they get destroyed, or the killer is already dead and they get destroyed, then they'll pass on knowing that they their their deed is done, even if they didn't do it. And, but 
if they just want to be set free, not doing anything else bad, then they'll just be set free. And, to, and yes, they'll be buried underneath, but they'll be in a container where they won't be able to corrode. They won't be able to get even more damage by anything else. So they won't just be put into a whole bin of broken animatronics. They'll just be in a box, and while there's while they're in the box, the soul could do whatever they want, but they can't inhabit another body. They can manipulate stuff, you know, like you know, like in Gravity Falls, where Dipper is controlling the sock puppets. There, that's it's like that. They could do that, but they can't but they can't possess the body like what Bill did in it. When they could roam around, but they're soul, but only a few people could see. Only a few people could see them. They could choose anyone that could see them, but only a few people. Like if they're, they're only their best friends and families and or lover could see them, then they yes. But when anything could happen in the school, it's like once when they get their own personalities and their emotions. They could act whenever, however they want. Like in, the, like if they're supposed to be the, like bad, bad person, then there you go. Some of the animatronics are made to kill, or you know, like some people make, are trying to make robots to kill other people. Some some animatronics are made to kill, protect, and and also entertain, or even scare. Like in the pizzeria, in the pizzeria, they'll they'll entertain the kids, and you know, I guess you could say the animatronics in in some movies or even in real life, they're made to protect. In the horror attractions, they'll have they'll have animatronics to scare people, and to back to the entertaining people will make animatronics for the movies and even to scare people in it if you're talking about a scary movie some people use animatronics to scare people and and those other people that use animatronics to kill people why why would you do that you do know if you just put the thing to, if you make animatronics and say that okay your sole purpose is to kill everyone in the, and they only then they're only around you. Do you know who the first thing they're gonna kill? You. They're gonna kill you first. Well, besides, that's the whole thing. They have their own emotions. They're like androids. They're they could their souls could leave their body if they're badly if they're turned off or they're badly destroyed. Unless you're like Mangle. Mingle, she's a whole different story. Mingle, she... Actually, no, I don't think I should not say this about her, because she isn't really part of the story that much. She's not part of the story that much. She is a helper in it. She tries to snap people out of things, but sometimes they will just attack her. That's why she's all mangled up. And Rosemary... Well, and Scarlet really doesn't care. Which is bad, man. It's bad. Bad.